U.S. Rep. Warren Davidson criticizes CBDC, advocates permissionless P2P money instead. The United States Republican Representative Warren Davidson has reiterated his stance against the government central bank digital currency CBDC, claiming that they should be banned and criminalized. In response to a job posting from the San Francisco Federal Reserve Bank for a senior crypto architect to work on a CBDC project, Davidson accused the Fed of building the financial equivalent of the Death Star. He urged the government to swiftly ban and criminalize any activity related to designing, building, developing, or testing CBDC. Central bank digital currency CBDC corrupts money into a tool for coercion and control. In a separate tweet, Davidson noted that money shouldn't be programmable by a central authority and indicated the use of permissionless peer-to-peer P2P transactions instead of CBDC. Money should be a stable store of value and an efficient means of exchange, not a tool for surveillance, coercion, and control, he noted. The congressman representing Ohio's 8th district has been highly vocal against the development of CBDC. In March, Davidson wrote a letter to Congress urging his colleagues to fight back against CBDC. He also noted that the government is favoring the use of state-owned CBDC in private transactions as money, which will impact the privacy and freedom of U.S. citizens in cash transactions. Davidson had earlier introduced legislation to fire SEC Chair Gary Gensler in April, citing a long series of abuses as his motivation. Digital dollar scope fades. The Fed has been actively involved in researching a government-backed CBDC, digital dollar, which has stirred controversies in the country. However, it said that a CBDC wouldn't be issued without authorization from Congress. That said, like Davidson, a group of anti-CBDC politicians have emerged with the message that the digital dollar is something to fear. For instance, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who is running for the Republican nomination for president, banned the use of a centralized digital dollar in May. The movement to establish a central bank digital currency is an attempt to surveil and control the finances of Americans. It would violate privacy, limit consumer choice, and undermine market competitiveness, DeSantis noted at the time. Additionally, Republican Tom Emmer has warned against state-controlled digital money, calling it a weapon to spy on U.S. citizens. He also introduced a bill the CBDC Anti-Surveillance State Act, to prohibit the Federal Reserve from issuing a CBDC in the U.S., as well as to improve oversight on all CBDC-related work done at the Fed. With a slew of opposition from various U.S. House of Representatives, the digital dollar looks less likely in the near future.